Hey YouTube, Mark Hoffman here, and today I want to talk about my EDC setup for the end of 2020. And I, I just want to make a video and talk about where I am in my everyday carry, and at the age of 26, I'm getting really comfortable with the setup I have right now, and I feel like it's going to keep me, um, it's going to keep me satisfied for many years. And it's going to be something that I plan on continuing um, on into 2021. So right now, what I'm doing is in my right pocket, I keep my pocket knife. And this is just one of the many pocket knives I may be carrying. Um, this is the Steel Will, Steel Will um, Piercer. And this is by... Um, a uh, knife, de knife designer named Tommaso, uh, let me see if I can get that in there, Rumucci, or Rumichi. And um, this is just, I, I've been very impressed with this knife. I actually have found a seller local in Texas who has been selling these for about $33 with free shipping. And these were going for about $65, $70. And, I, and they also have a titanium lock bar side that is a frame lock, which, they, which Steel Wheel is, um, Steel Wheel is currently selling those for, I think it's about 100, $120 to $100. So that's a little more dear than what I wanted with a D, D2 blade. But this knife so far has been absolutely fantastic. Still kind of getting used to this very thin thumb hole. I think it's more hankered towards doing a, th a, th a slow thumb roll than being flicked out. But um, I've been very impressed with this knife. It does have a titanium pocket clip and a titanium back. I, I wouldn't call this a back spacer, but pommel, I guess and um, fits very well in hand. I will be doing a complete video on this one, um, but this is why I keep in my right front pocket. Then with that, I keep my phone, which I'm recording on, so I can't really show you that. And then in my left pocket, I have, this is where a lot of the modifications and exploring and trying new gear, trying different gear, excuse me, and, um, and, and just trying to figure out where I'm comfortable with this because I used to carry a wallet in my back pocket, but now I carry the Birch, um, not Birch, uh, Yellow Birch um, Outfitters Pocket Pico. And this is a pocket organizer, and I have been treating this primarily as my wallet and to carry the things that used to be loose in my pocket on my left side. And the thing that I've been just really dabbling with is the pens that I want to carry in this thing and the knife I want to carry in this thing. I originally used to have the three slot, which had a slot for my pen, and then a slot for um, any kind of slim, I guess slim, mid-range pocket knife. Um, and then it had a very tiny pocket, which was about this big, excuse me, about this big, which... Oh, um, it, I, I never found a use for it, and what I used to carry on it is something I carry on my keys now, and um, so I, I thought, okay, that's not really working, but I do like the quality from them, they're made in America, and they, they, they use very good materials, so what did I want out of this thing, so I ended up going with their two slot. And I tried a few of my Victorinox knives in this thing, and I just really didn't like anything because it kind of wanted to settle this way. But if it settled this way, it would then just slide right out. I mean, there wasn't a lot of tension holding it in there. And as of late, I recently had gotten a Victorinox Handyman. And so far, this, this multi-tool has surpassed all my expectations it has assisted me more 
than any of my other Victoria Knox knives. And it has been the most useful tool I carry in any situation. And I just have found myself reaching for this more and more. Um, we recently had my uncle's birthday and I got to use the, the bottle opener tonight. So that was something and it was because it was in this pocket organizer. And so really this is the multi-tool that I have decided to carry in this pocket organizer. Yes, it, the, yes, this is a little bit, uh, this is a little bit much, but I think this is the most compact and as far as I want to go with Victorinox's multi-tools. And, and this is the most tools on it that I find use in my uh, useful in my life right now. So I, I keep that right there. And then I keep some kind of pen on the side that clips right in here. So this, this is um, clipped right in here real nice. And this is the Parker Jotter. And this is one of their French ones. This is uh, a modern one. I do have an American made one, but I keep this right here. Um, and if I'm not really in a caring mood, I will throw this in the bottom of my pocket if I miss um, this little slot. But I keep my pen there. I still haven't figured out what I wanna put here. I have explored with the Griffin pocket tool, but the thing is, is I have a scraper in this tool so i don't really need this for a scraper i have a bottle opener in this tool don't need the bottle opener and i don't really need this hook um, i have a set of pliers so any small nut that i ever interact with i really don't need this so i kind of toss that out um, i used to carry in my other setup this set of uh, not this set this um titanium tweezer and this was useful, but I mean, this has a set of tweezers, so I kind of got rid of that. So I haven't really found something to put in here. Um, I, I haven't, I've, I've explored a few flashlights, but we're going to get to that section. So the other thing I keep in here is I keep a small three inch ruler, which is clear. And I keep that in here. So when I'm reading something in a book, or making a note, I can make a perfectly straight line in a book or in on a notepad that will be sufficient for writing on or underlining something important. Also in here, I had an Essie Azula, which Essie usually sends a card that has certain signals that you can use to, uh, let me see here, let me just actually pull it out of here. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, so SE sends this card usually with their knives. And so the thing that I like to keep in here is we have uh, short-term survival tips. We have ground-to-air distress signals. We have a conversion chart here. And um, we have a set of rules here for survival. And I just felt like this was kind of a cool thing to put in your wallet. I felt like this would be helpful if you found yourself in a situation and actually ended up keeping your wallet. And then we're gonna just take a real quick look at my ruler. So then there's the ruler. Just a ruler that I cut in half and cut it on a, made it into three inches. And there we go. So I keep this in here for underlining anything that I may be reading. And then at the very bottom of it, I keep half a comb to comb my hair. So that's what I keep in here. And I also keep my cards and other information. And I'm not going to show you guys that. So I, I, I really like this setup. This actually took, and it looks stupid simple, but it actually took a lot of trial and error to get to this point. So yeah, that, that's the fruits of my labor. And that is what I carry in my left pocket. And paired with that are my keys, which I'm not going to show you, but I will show you what I keep on, on my keys. So I keep this here if I ever need to hook it onto something. And then I keep this IR2 EOS flashlight from Olight. This is an incredibly um, powerful little light and, and it's rechargeable. I also keep this little capsule for medications or Advils 
or allergy medications and this has become an extremely important thing on my keys because let's say I go and visit my parents who live out of state I'm not out of state out of the city and I forget my medication I usually keep a few in here and that will usually keep me going until the weekend's end and then I keep my jet setter here so this doesn't have a knife on it or anything like that so it should be okay going through TSA so there's that and then the rest I'm not going to show you so those are my keys and it's actually take keys are a difficult thing um, but uh, you know so that, that's um and then we've got my carpe noctum uh, coin brass coin and this is all in Latin so yeah I, I keep that in the bottom of my my uh, pocket and I, I just enjoy having this for photos and um, posting on my Instagram so this is just really for my EDC and whatever I may be carrying that is brass so I keep that in the bottom of my pocket and in the bottom of that I keep some change and my spider co oh, shit yeah you can't really get a grip on it but ah there we go uh, my spider coat dragonfly so I have been carrying this for the month of um, December and December is only at this point in time 16 days in but I have been really enjoying um, having this in the bottom of my pocket because I may not want to have a big knife uh, to open something and I may not have want to have to pull out my Victorinox and kind of fiddle to get it out. I can just reach in the bottom of my pocket and this is there. I can open it. I'm not gonna flick it open, but I can open it, cut whatever, and then just press the back and voila, throw it in the bottom of my pocket. So that is what I keep in my left side pocket. Now in my back left pocket, I usually keep some type of EDC hank. So I don't use this for my nose. Um, I use this usually for uh, my Instagram posts and cleaning the screen of my phone. And um, I do have a baby girl, and trust me, um, the screen of your phone does get dirty. So this does come in handy, and it has two designs. So I have quite a few of these EDC Hanks, but I always keep one in my back pocket. You never know. And if I'm desperate enough, I will use it for my nose. But Yep, um, and this is a Hank from a company called Hank X. These are all handmade in the United States. And the last time I checked with him, he does do embroidering. So he did put my name on that side. So that is a beautiful thing. And we have these wonderful ducks on this side. And then this wonderful graphic on the inside here. So that I keep in my left back pocket. And I don't keep anything in my back right. And we've already talked about my front right pocket. So that is my EDC. So that's it that I have in my pockets. But what about the watch? A lot of you guys ask me what watch I'm wearing. And today I have quite a few. I have about 20. But today um, there is some hate with this watch. But I like the brand. Um, I, I don't like like the brand. I'm not crazy about them, but I do appreciate them. And that's Invicta. I have an Invicta Pro Diver here. This is the quartz model. There are automatics in this setup, but I uh, chose I chose the quartz because I can just grab it and go. And actually, I have upgraded this um, watch. It originally had an oh, it had a Epson. It had a Seiko Epson movement in it, which was, to be honest, absolute crap. It wasn't it wasn't that great. So I upgraded it with a Myota movement, and this is actually the movement I put in it. This is just another one I have at my desk, and this is a Myota 2115. And so that there is what I've popped into this. It's absolutely identical to the other one, but it has better parts. It doesn't look like it, but it does have better parts. 
and the feedback of changing the time is much better. The other one changed the time, um, changed the hands really quickly. This has a better feedback and the hour wheel and minute wheel are under a little more tension which enables you to set your time a little more accurately. So I did do an upgrade on this watch and this is what I had on my wrist today. Um, but usually I have some kind of watch on my wrist that uh, here's another one this is an ESQ and I always try to keep my watches a little unique like here is a Yima this is a Yima Superman uh, very 70s esque uh, but I, I just try to keep my watches different and sometimes I try to match my EDC so that is what I have and then of course, my wedding ring. So uh, the wedding ring, this one is made out of tungsten and I do have an, a 14 karat gold, no, no, not 14, it's 10 karat gold um, ring, but I usually wear this one for work because it just doesn't get scratched. I still haven't found something yet to scratch this tungsten ring. So that is my EDC um, setup right now for 2020. So if you guys enjoyed seeing what I've been carrying and how I carry my EDC items, um, if you've enjoyed it, let me know in the comments. And if you have suggestions for some new items that I could be carrying, um, e either in my Pocket Pico by Yellow Birch Outfitters, or maybe something I could add to my key setup. Like, if you think there's something I could add here, I really don't want to, but if you feel like there's a better option, hey, leave it down below, and I'd be happy to hear what you have to say. So, thank you guys so much for joining me for this actually kind of long video. I wasn't really able to make this any shorter uh, than five minutes, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, and wherever you may be, I hope you have a great day.